In a time where my mental health and excitement for life were declining, ironically, it was sort of when I found myself and my passions and my purpose during all the COVID lockdowns. And I did that by learning how to effectively and efficiently pitch myself. Today, I'm going to teach you all how to do that by unlocking three unique words to describe your own identity. Because if I wasn't able to do this, I wouldn't be where I am today. I don't often talk about this, but before the pandemic, I was a fresh grad. I was only 20 and I didn't really feel like I was anything. I didn't have a job. I wasn't sure what to do with myself and I felt really lost and alone. Sitting there between four walls with no freedom in sight, which I'm sure us Melburnians all felt and understand, I had really little hope for my future and I really wasn't sure what to do next. So I thought the only option I really had left was to put myself out there, ask other people for help and pitch myself, just asking for advice, seeing where I could get because I really didn't know where else to go. I mean, I was applying for jobs and by my 30th rejection email, I realized I was probably going to need a different approach. So when I had this idea of pitching myself and putting myself out there, I thought, what am I actually about? When I introduce myself, what do I even say? And why would someone even care? I graduated university with this gold paper of paper resume. And if I showed you all, I, I, it's actually gold. I studied abroad. I joined all the clubs. I got great grades, average grades, but you get the gist. And still trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life and start my career was one of the hardest things I've ever gone through. So I thought to myself, no one else was going to know my story or what I was about unless I asked someone and put myself out there. So I started to do that by reaching out and thinking of the fact that, you know, I'm just asking somebody else for advice. I'm not owning myself. I've got nothing to teach them. They're there to teach me. And that's what pitching really is. So when I started doing this, I thought of three words because we live in an age of social media where it's our main form of communication and connection. But research by Forbes actually suggests that the only content we actually find interesting is whether it's authentic, original and educational. So I knew I was never going to get anybody's attention without those three things. So here's what you need to do. After you listen to this talk, have a think about or write down all the words that come to your mind when you ask yourself, who am I? Ask yourself, ask your friends, ask your enemies and just write them down. These words can be you're a morning person. You're a calm person, you're funny, you're extroverted, you're adventurous. Whatever you come up with is going to be words that you can use to identify your uniqueness to somebody else. Now, when you try to pick these three words, um, it'll just feel natural. It'll feel good and it will feel right, like an accurate representation of your skills, your purpose and you. Now, the important thing to realize when you're pitching is that you don't actually have to be an extremely con confident or extroverted outgoing person to do this. Majority of you here in the room today probably aren't. Research suggests from psychology today that 85% of people worldwide lack confidence and have low self-esteem. A recent UK study revealed that roughly nine in 10 young people aged 16 to 29 feel like their life actually has no meaning and no purpose. That sucks. But when it comes to pitching, this can actually be a really good thing. Research by Harvard Business Review suggests that people with low self-esteem actually appear less arrogant and they're more open and appreciative when it comes to receiving advice from other people. Pitching is not about 
knowing who you are and selling yourself. It's about being open to learning a new perspective and grateful to learn from somebody new. It's not about you, it's about them. Learn from others to develop your true purpose. I'm telling you to do it with three words because of the rule of three, which is a writing principle that suggests that people better remember situations, sentences, and stories better in groups of three. For those of you who aren't aware, and I just learned this, TED actually stands for three words. Technology, entertainment, and design. You may have also heard of reduce, reuse, recycle, ready, set, go. Keep an eye on the news. It's a typical strategy journalists use to have you remember news headlines. These are all the words that came to my mind when I asked myself and those around me that question, who am I? So today, I'm going to introduce myself to you all as an advocate, innovator, and communicator. I'm advocating for all the people in this room. I'm communicating to you all by talking, and I'm teaching you something through a new and innovative way. So that was sort of how I got there. Because these words were succinct and unique, I hope you can all remember what I was about after talking to you today. Use these three words to put yourself out there and own what you're about. It doesn't matter whether or not you don't know who you are. Like I said, when I started pitching, I didn't have a job, a career, know what my purpose was. So I started my three words by understanding what skills I currently had, thinking about the things that excited me and using the things I wanted to explore. So back then, when I started pitching and putting myself out there, I knew I was enthusiastic, um, which I hopefully still am. I was a good communicator and I wanted to help people. So those were the three words I began when I started pitching and putting myself out there. And my three words continue to grow as I do. They develop with you throughout your whole career, but they are things that you really need to own. It's a really competitive world out there. Look around, there's a hundred or so people in this room, but we're all unique and we really need to own it to become the best versions of ourselves. And we do that by using three unique words to make our mark. Thank you.